Southern Pines, North Carolina, a town that epitomizes Southern hospitality and is home to Pine Needles, the host venue of this year's U.S. Women's Open presented by ProMedica. I'm here to take you through some of the must-dos this community has to offer. Love your work. My job is so cool. Let's get started. While the best players in the world are competing at the U.S. Women's Open at Pine Needles in June, there are plenty of other great courses in the area, including a Donald Ross gem just down the road. I think it's so special how much the natural landscape is emphasized through, through the golf course, yeah. and you feel like it really just kind of sits lightly on the land. Yeah, uh, and I think that's a, a, a credit to, to Donald Ross, uh, the, the genius that he had where uh, there's just so much great golf, as we like to call it, the home of American golf. They're back with, you know, horses and mules and stuff like that. So they didn't move a lot of earth. And so they really fit into the landscape here. As it relates to Pine Needles, Mid Pines and Southern Pines, we're, we're caretakers, you know, and trying to leave it better than, uh, than what we found it. Golf can make us, well, crazy. We might have to try putters. Yeah. And sometimes the best cure is meditation, surrounded by the peaceful sounds of nature. Just get as comfortable as you can. So I invite you to take some real deep breaths. There is nowhere else for us to go. This is a very nice way to um, kind of recenter myself, uh, and it's a nice reminder that uh, we should all take a breather, enjoy nature, enjoy the things that are around us. Very, very nice. We're here at Paradox Farms, and we're about to do two of my favorite things cuddle some animals and eat some goat cheese. And voila, we have piglets. Hi, piglets. Oh my gosh, you just, and I just hold it? Venus, Marigold, Quilly, Quest, and Lily. Okay, I would like to go taste the magical creations you all make. Thank you. And get ready for some really good aromas. Oh my gosh, wow. That yeah. hits ya. Um, pretty young, huh? Yeah, I think I'm coming back here in June. Please do. <laughs> Mine's coming with me. This area isn't just considered the home of American golf. It's also the handmade pottery capital of the United States. So we're going to get our hands dirty with Linda Dalton. Oh my gosh, you have to have muscles for this. Gen oh, oh, oh. Gen gen gentle, gentle, <laughs> gentle. All right. So that's good. That's very good. Am I a bowl prodigy? <laughs> You're a bowl prodigy. <laughs> it is exciting to have all the fans coming to Southern Pines. It certainly is. And then this wow. is the finished plate. Beautiful. That's amazing. You made it look very easy. I think it's time for a change of pace. This is going to be me, this little girl. What's this mean? Straighten legs. Very good. And what's the, like, I'm ready to There isn't one. Okay. <laughs> we don't allow quitters. Okay, just, just checking. <clears throat> Skydiving can really work up an appetite. Let's dig into some good old Carolina barbecue. My grandparents had a barbecue place in Southern Pines. I grew up 
cooking barbecue. This is all I've ever done. So it's the top portion of the shoulder. It has the most flavor. And so when they're done, Oh my gosh. Super tender. Just falls apart. I'm gonna steal this. Mm. These are the ribs and your personal favorite. These are my favorite, yeah. So that's what I look for is when they start to do that. Oh boy. That's about as good as it gets. Cheers. Oh my god. So people coming into town, if they eat this barbecue, they're, they're getting the real experience. Right. We don't take any half steps. We, we do everything the hard way, yeah. the hardest way possible. So. <laughs> well, you can taste it in every single bite. This is uh, hands down the best barbecue I've ever had. So thank you, Ashley. The military ties in this community run deep. Our Riveter merges a powerful mission with a sense of style. Something I noticed that's very special that you guys do is the heirloom program. Uh, describe what that is. Yes, so that is our program where people can send in their own sentimental materials and we will make one of six of our styles of bags out of them. All kinds of things that make it so that these people have a keepsake of that piece of material so it's not just something sitting in your closet collecting dust. And it's so chic. Yes. <laughs> So you can use it in your everyday life. And you always have that part of that person with you. No trip to Southern Pines is complete without making a stop at Southern Pines Brewing Company. Very nice. How does one start a brewery? <laughs> Liked beer. Yeah, that's and, a prerequisite. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'd been in the military and was, was stationed here in Fort Bragg for 11 years. I was a Green Beret in 3rd Special Forces Group and got to this halfway point in my career where it was either stay in for the, the rest of it or do something else. And I always thought becoming an entrepreneur would be something really exciting and a neat part of the American dream. I heard somebody talk about founding a brewery and came home that night and thought, our town doesn't have a brewery. And uh, called up another couple guys on my team with me. And, and then a year later, we had Southern Pines Brewing Company. Something I think we do here kind of special and unique is we custom make all of our water. I always think it adds a lot of neat authenticity to our beers in a way where we're not just using malt and yeast and hops from around the world, but even matching the water. You will have lots of fans coming into town in June for the U.S. Women's Open. How exciting is that for this community? It's incredible. It's just so neat to have such a, an event at a national stage come to our little town like this and, and get to see what it's like to live here in the Pines. And it, it's pretty neat to have this spot just pop up on the world stage uh, for that period of time. And it's a great community to be part of and, and beer fits into most parts of it, which is a lot of yeah. fun. Beer and golf kind of go yeah, hand in hand. Definitely works. Let's close the day with another Southern Pines staple. The things I do for you. Communities for USGA championships are incredibly special, so when you're in town watching the world's best, be sure to check out some of the local businesses that make Southern Pines so charming. <laughs> <laughs>